Hey, and welcome back to my channel, who's ready for some fighting words. So in this video, I want to talk about the press conference, the final press conference for Roley Romero and uh, Gervonta Tank Davis. Um, there's not a whole lot that really you could take away from this this final press conference, to be honest with you. Um, and they, it's pretty much followed the same pattern as the other ones uh, between the two, or pretty much any time the two of these guys have interacted with one another. Uh, the, 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 there's a few things that, that I'm taking from this. One, the one thing that just keeps playing in my mind when I, when I see these two face-to-face -face in their overall in interaction is how calm Roley is. Normally, guys are like, I feel like a lot of guys are already a little cracked up when they fight Tank. And I don't necessarily say I don't want to necessarily say that the battle is won, but if you come in with doubt, if you come in with a you know one tenth of disbelief or anything like that, one a true apex predator like you know we're fighters we can sniff that out. That's number one. But number two, you may not perform up to your best potential if if you believe he is what they've made him out to be. And, you know, one of the things is people believing into the hype. Now, it's one thing if the, let's say someone's talking about me and I believe what, I believe the hype about me. But it's something else if you're about to fight me and you believe the hype about me. That, that's different. That's different. If I believe the hype about me, it doesn't really matter in terms of this fight. If I believe the hype about me, but if you believe the hype about me, it does matter. It actually does matter. And I feel like a lot of Gervonta Tank Davis's past opponents, I'm not going to say they fully bought into it, but they were aware of it, or they heard it, or they actually took the time to listen to it. You know, maybe it seeped in a little bit, you know, whatever the case may be. But when you look at Roley Romero, you don't see any glimpses of that. None. You, you see virtually no glimpse of doubt, fear, intimidation. That's another thing. When they're face to face, he's totally calm. He's totally relaxed. He's totally unintimidated about the situation, about Tank, about, you know, Tank's little, I guess, like gangster image or whatever. You know, you look at Roley and it looks like, you know, he's always dressed like palm trees and you know, floral print, button-down shirts, white pants, you know, like, then you look at Tank, you know, he's got the black, you know, the dark sunglasses and his hat to the back, and, you know, like, he just looks a little more rough around the edges, and you don't see a shadow of a doubt within Roley Romero. And, you know what, his confidence is through the roof. You know, I, I keep, I'm constantly reminded in terms of this fight um you know everybody thought Ali was crazy when he was calling out Sonny Liston Sonny Liston was the boogie band Sonny Liston was everything they said he was he was actually every once in a blue moon somebody is actually what people say that person is every once in a blue moon and he was that he was a great fighter he was a demolisher he was a heavy puncher he was a great boxer. He understood the mechanics and the science behind boxing. Uh, so it wasn't like he was just, he's big and strong and he just go in there and he'll just, you know, rough you up. No, he understood boxing. He understood setting up punches. He understood these things. And yet, Ali wasn't the least bit afraid. He wasn't the least bit afraid. He had zero fear and had zero doubt. And he exuded that prior to getting the fight. Then once he got the fight and the whole duration until the day of the fight, he, he exuded supreme confidence. And, you know, really has been saying the same thing over and over again. I'm going to knock him out in the first round. Is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. Anybody with two hands can knock anybody out. Yeah, it's possible. Has he done it before? Yes, he has done it. You know, so here's the thing with Roley saying that he's going to knock him out in the first round. One, if you've done something over and over and over again, it's not a crazy concept for you to believe you could do it again. You know, it's like telling Shaquille O'Neal, you know, if Shaquille O'Neal says, I'm going to dunk on you. Probably. <laughs> He's done it a thousand times already on multiple opponents. 
10 times, 30, 100 times better than myself. Why would he doubt himself in saying he's going to dunk on me? You know, I've been in gyms. I've seen guys get knocked out and sparring and, you know, like done it myself. You know, so it's just like if I say, well, I'm going to hit this guy, I'm going to knock him out. It's not a crazy concept because I've done that. It's not crazy if I've done that. It's not out of this world if I've done that. And I, I have done that. The only reason why people are doubting Roley is because he's fighting Tank. If, if Roley was fighting somebody else and he said, I'm going to knock you out, the doubt wouldn't be there. If he was fighting Ryan Garcia and he said, I'm going to knock you out, it's like, maybe. <laughs> right? If he was fighting Devin Haney and he said, I'm going to knock you out, we'd be like, maybe. Right? But he's fighting Tank and he's like, yeah, right. I'm going to knock out Tank. Why? He's a human as well. He's just as human as those other guys. Why, why can't he do it? Why can't he do it? You know, self-belief is a powerful, powerful tool. And if used correctly with proper training, conditioning, and, you know, nutrition, and, and proper guidance, coaches and, and mentors, I suppose it is possible. And if you've done it before several times over, well, then I suppose it is possible. Now, that's, that's Roly. On the flip-hand side, you know, you have Tank. And this is the most composed I've seen Tank of their multiple interactions. He's very calm, very jovial, you know, laughing and, you know, like he, he's, he's not as aggressive. He's not as angry. That could be because the fight's here. And it's just like, like he said, the talking is over. So it just could be that. But it could also be that Tank has prepared himself. And when you're prepared, it's just like, eh, <laughs> you know, like, eh, you know, and that's what it is. When you're prepared, things kind of just roll off your sleeve when you're prepared. That's one thing. Now, the other thing that Tank mentioned, which I found kind of interesting, which I think could and could not play in his favor, was that he said, you know, he's like, well, I don't believe that Roley is awkward. He said he's just new at this. He's not awkward. He's just new at this. But he also said, I plan on putting on fireworks, but I want to show people that there's levels. So that means I might dish out a little. I'm, now, the way I'm reading that is he wants to dish out a little bit of punishment. He wants to show his talent. He wants to show what he can do. You know, he wants to show that there's levels to this, this sport of boxing. Okay, so do I think there's a danger in that? Yes, because, listen, Roley, Roley might be a little overconfident from time to time, but some of the things he is saying is actually kind of true. He is the biggest guy at Tanker's fault. That's true. Um... I feel like he's bigger than Barrios. I'm just looking at his overall frame. He's bigger than Barrios. But um, is he the hardest puncher tank has ever fought? Probably. I mean, Gamboa, when he was younger, who knows? But, like, he fought an older Gamboa. But probably, yeah. You know, I, I don't... Roley's still learning. Roley hasn't reached his prime yet. He is very new to this sport. Very green. Um... I'm not saying don't do it, but I think there is a danger in trying. If Listen, if I can get you out of there around three, I'm not going to keep you around, around for round seven just to show the onlookers how great I am. Because getting you out of there around three would ultimately show how great I am as well. You know, now I understand what he's saying. I want to show that there's levels to this. You know, Roy Jones always said, you know, he would prefer to just beat people up for 12 rounds rather than getting a knockout in the first round. Because to to Roy, and, and I agree with him, I, you know, I, I do agree with him. What's more exciting? Obviously, the first round knockout. What's more dramatic? The first round knockout. But what shows more skill? I beat you up for 12 rounds straight. That shows more skill overall. So if that's Tank's overall plan for this fight, I'm not saying he doesn't have the skill to do it. 
I think he's a very skillful fighter. I just think Roley is very heavy handed. And, you know, uh, a perfect example of what I'm trying to illustrate is this. Tyson Fury's beating Deontay Wilder all over the place and he's dancing all over, you know, all just he's all over the place. And then later on in the fight, Deontay Wilder knocks him down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the point that I'm making. You know, like, was Fury showing skill? Yes. Was Fury giving the true ex the true example of ring generalship? Yes. But the power of Wilder didn't diminish and it was still there. It was just lying dormant because he couldn't get his hands on you. And the same thing with Rowley. I, if I were Tank, pick a different opponent to show your skill set. Because you might have to show your skill set with Rowley in a way that you might not necessarily want to. Meaning you might have to show your your the durability of your chin. You know, if 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 a guy like Rowley is in there longer than what he should be. Now, mind you, everybody's saying Tank is going to win, including myself. I, I I also believe he's going to win, but you don't want to keep that guy around longer than he needs to be. Everybody's already saying he's going to lose. So every round that goes by for Rowley is a win for Rowley because remember, Rowley only has like thirteen, fourteen fights. He's brand new to this sport. He started fighting at 17, 18 years old. He's brand new at this sport. Every round that goes by, his confidence shouldn't dwindle. It should rise up. So if I was Tank, or if I was at least around Tank, or able to speak with him, I would suggest maybe you should get this guy out of here as quickly as possible. Because he's only going to grow in confidence. Every round that you can't put him out, Every round that you miss a punch, every round that he takes one of your so-called bombs, he's going to grow in confidence. And then there's going to come a moment in the fight, and it will happen if the guy stays around long enough, where you're going to have to eat one of his. And Roley does hit hard. So those are just some thoughts. Um, drop your comments down below. As always, please like, please share, please subscribe to my channel.